What's going on guys? You know who it is, it's your boy Shrek. So this is a video that's been requested a few times now. This is going to be, as the title states, adjusting disc brakes. So first things first, you want to shock your wheels. That's how I shock them. So there it is, you shock your wheels. You're coming your truck. You want to turn on your truck and have it build pressure until it purges. Once it purges, you turn off your truck. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so once it purges, go ahead and turn it off. Turn the key back to accessory mode. Let it cycle, sweep the gauges. And what you're gonna do is release the yellow one. Wheels are chalked, so it shouldn't move much. There it is. All right. So now these are disc brakes. These disc brakes have a little dust cover on them. Little dust cover should have a key underneath. Yes, that's it. These are the Bendix brake calipers. So it has a little key. Like I said, bear with me. I'm working on my iPhone one-handed so it's a 10 millimeter Let's see if you can see it 10 millimeter what you're going to do is go ahead and tighten it as much as possible once you tighten it you're gonna do two clicks out or back it out two clicks so there's one and there's two that's all you do for the brake adjustment and then you just follow the same for all all six of them or the remainder five this will be a short short video so let me see same thing on this one this one's a little harder to get to oh, and this one doesn't even have a key on it let me see if this one has a key on it Yes, this one has a key on it. And the way I do them is I go from the front driver and work my way around them. So let me see. This one is right there. So like I said, just tighten it all. And then you wanna hear two clicks back or back it out two clicks. One, two. Turn it all the way. Back it out two clicks. There it is. All right, let's do the other side. This one's easier because it's right on top. So you can see. And it has a key perfect. Other side. Or second axle actually. And think whoever did them before took the key or broke it. So if you don't release your brakes and you try to do this without releasing them. We ran into that problem at first. We didn't know about these brakes. We All we had was drums. So if you try to do it, you will break this little key. It's not that strong and it's meant to break so you don't damage the actual mechanism on the rotor or on the actual caliper, I mean, sorry. So you can try to do this without releasing your brakes, but you will break the key. It's just too hard to do it without releasing it. Let's go ahead and leave the key here today. Always release your brakes when you're doing your brakes adjustments. Brake adjustments are done with the brakes released. Full pressure, brakes released. All right, we have one more. That should be right here, yup. Hopefully this one has a key on it too. And what do you know, it doesn't have it. 
Let's go ahead and use the one from the other side. So it's right here. That's that. Put the cover back on. Just because we don't want debris jumping in there. All right. Go back in the truck. Three points of contact. And you're basically done. That is how you adjust your disc brakes, guys. Another real simple, easy. It's going to be a pretty short video. Don't forget to like it, comment, share, let me know what else you guys want. Like I said, I will be doing the, the drum brake adjustment on the next video. Share this with your friends, comment what you guys wanna see. Thank you guys for the support so far and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out guys, y'all have a good one.